Hello and welcome here. In today's video, I'll be showing you the three ways in which you can connect any keyboard to an iPad. I often get here on my channel many questions about iPads and keyboards. So hopefully I will answer all of these today and any others you might have. So let's get right into it. You might have a Bluetooth keyboard like the one I have here, or you might also have a mechanical or a wired keyboard like the one I have here. So let me show you how you can connect each one of these to your iPad. So now let me show you how you can connect a wired keyboard like the one I have here. It comes in a normal USB-A and I will do it all in front of you so you have a clear idea. I have a USB-C hub right here which I will tell you about in just a second. You connect it to your iPad, very easy to do. Then you connect your keyboard to the USB-C hub. This way, you, as you can see, the keyboard is now connected to my iPad and I can open the search bar very easily here and I can type whatever I need. Now let me tell you about the USB-C hub and how it can benefit you if you have an iPad. If you have a USB-C iPad, you might need one of these. It is a USB-C hub. The one that I have here comes in a USB-C and it gives me a USB-A, an HDMI, a USB-C charging port and also two other USB-As. This one is really important for having an iPad if you use your iPad for daily use and if you use it as a computer as I do. I often connect my mouse, a keyboard and many others but what's really important about this USB-C hub specifically is that it has a USB-C charging port. Often when you use your iPad and you are connecting it to many accessories, it will drain the battery much faster. So while having or with having this USB-C charging port, your iPad's battery will not run out. This is really important as I often use my iPad for multiple of hours, maybe three, four hours while having the accessories that I've told you about. I might have a USB-C stick might have my keyboard and also I might connect it to an HDMI which I often do. If you connect your iPad, especially if you have one of the latest iPads, the M chip iPads, to a display to have it as a second monitor for your iPad, well it will drain much faster than you would expect. So having this charging port is really important. While having all of these accessories you can also charge your iPad. So now let me tell you about the Bluetooth keyboard, like the one I have here connected. It is a Logitech K380. I've made many videos about it, but now let me show you how you can connect a Bluetooth keyboard. It's very easy to do, it's already connected, but I will just repair it so you have an idea. You open the settings application and you go to Bluetooth. And you enter your keyboard into the pairing mode. This one you just hold on to the Bluetooth button or with the ones that you want to pair it to. And like that, it should appear now in the Bluetooth settings. But let me just remove the ones that I had earlier. This way, as you can see, it will uh, appear in just a second. I might need to turn off Bluetooth and uh, reopen it. And like this, it appeared. Just press on it and it is connected. Very easy to do. As for the last option, which I don't have here to show you, but if you have a wired keyboard that comes in a USB-C, you can just connect it to your iPad directly and it should work uh, as is. So this was it. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I have many others about the iPad and many more you might enjoy.